Hey everybody, how's it going today? So in this video, I'm going to show you all around BMW's full-size luxury flagship sedan, that is the 2027 series. So the, in this review, I'll be showing you all around the exterior and the interior of the vehicle. Now all that's out of the way, let's start with the review. Now we're going to start this review up front talking about the design of the all new 7 series and I think you guys can see the most controversial part of the car which are these dual kidney grills right here. These grills are absolutely massive. I mean on cars like the X5 and the X7 they look good because the car is also good also big but on case of the 7 series they don't look good just at all and i think one more factor that makes them look even worse are these absolutely tiny headlights right here um i mean if i compare these headlights to the grill they look tiny now these headlights are absolutely laser headlights these have these they have these blue accents in them and they can also lower down a part of their beam at night so they do not dazzle the oncoming traffic now the front bumper of the 7 series has this lovely chrome strip that runs around the entire length of the bumper. It really oozes luxury and I really like it. Then there's this also there's also this air vent to cool to provide air to cool down the brakes. Then these flaps in the Kriegel they can open and close to provide air to the engine for cooling. And the same purpose with these flaps down here. Now let's move on to the side of the car. Now this, along the side of the 7 series is where you guys actually see the length of this extended wheel this model. As you guys can see I'm walking along the side of it and it's so long. Like it's absolutely huge. Imagine having to park this car in a parking lot. Now we here have the fuel filler cap right here and the door handle. Now let's talk about the tires. Now these tires are the Michelin Primacy tires. These are 19 inch in diameter. And if you take a look at the design of the rims, you like not expecting it from BMW because they usually have a lot more sporty design of the rims, but these are quite more luxurious. And these also have these center caps so that you do not have to take a look at the lung nuts. Now, aside from the wheels on the side, there's also this chrome strip that runs all along the length of the vehicle and it eventually leads up to that hockey stick, if you want to call it that. Now, the main purpose is just for aerodynamics and nothing all that, nothing special with it. Then right here, we also have the side view mirror, which has this little camera on it. And now on the side view mirror, you guys can really see the paintwork of this car. Under the lighting here that we have, it looks absolutely amazing. You can see the green flakes, the blue flakes. I mean, this is a fantastic paint job Yeah, right here. You can see the green flakes, the blue. It looks amazing. Now let's check out the back. At the back of the all new 7 series you guys can see the new design of the tail lights now these are 3d style tail lights and they kind of come out and then there's also this chrome strip that runs all along the back of the car it looks really nice then we have the bmw badge the 737 for the 7 series 3 liter for the 3 liter l for the long wheel base and d for the diesel then down here we have the exhaust frame now this is just the outer surround and the real exhaust pipes are right here and we also also have the parking sensors right here now let's open the boot which is of course electronic and which you do by pushing your hand by pressing a button down here let me just find the latch yeah and now you can see it opens and it's quite spacious actually you can see it has some stuff in there but it's very spacious and you can easily fit two to three suitcases in there then you also have this kit plate so that you don't damage this crap paintwork by taking a suitcase out we have the warning triangle and then we could close it by pushing this button right here and it closes automatically down now let's check out the interior the back seat of the 7 series is where you want to be it's covered in this soft merino coffee colored interior you have a tv screen right here and you can watch something there and you also have this ipad in this in the rear center console like you can control all of the car's function through there you can control anything you want regarding the car then you can also change the, the seat controls are also down there you can recline your seat if you wish to do so and then the, here are the window controls and you can all see the the zippers for the isofix shield um child seat anchors then there are there's the sunroof which is currently closed and yeah then you also have four zone climate control so you eat each of the rear passenger hat can can set a different climate control if you want to that's it for the back now let's check out the front 
Now, at the front of the 7 Series, you guys can see the wooden trim that this car has and also the digital instrument cluster that this car has. Now, also, this car has the iDrive 7 latest infotainment system, which, of course, is touchscreen. You can use it by touch inputs and you can go to navigation if you wish to do so. You can also control it by the iDrive controller right here. Now, this car doesn't have the crystal pack, so it does not include the crystal gear lever and all the center console in crystal. It does look good in crystal crystal i think so then we have the center console which opens by if you push this button now there's fair amount of storage there you can also charge something if you wish to do so Using this, you also have the air conditioning controls right there. Now, these are, of course, touchscreen, it's Warzone climate control. Then you have the media controls right here, the hazard light control, and you have the start stop engine right there, and the glove box, which is locked right now, so I can't open it. And then you have um, the steering wheel, which has many different controls on it. Now, right here, you guys can see I've opened up the camera. So you guys can see the regular camera and the 360 degree camera. Now on the 360 degree camera, it also tells us where the doors will open. So you do not slam them on the curb if you park right next to one. Right next to it, we also have the park assist and the reversing assist. Now reversing assistant is like if you're going to a shopping mall in, in one of those underground parking lots and you're maneuvering around and all of a sudden somebody comes in the opposite direction. So you do not have to back it up as if you press this, it remembers are steering it but and it will automatically back you up i mean how cool is that then you also have the settings button now if i just close this you guys can see also see the ambient lighting that this car has then we also have the electronically controlled steering wheel right here now let me just show you guys a better look at the digital info instrument cluster now you guys can have a better look at it and how it is opposite directional then we also have a frameless rear view mirror right here and yeah then we have this is you have a better look at the steering wheel then we have this cup holder right here so if you really need to press it hard in order to open it but yeah you just need to smash it yeah but when you do get it right you have a wireless phone charger you have two cup holders and a usb cable just in case your phone doesn't support wireless charging um now if to close it you just push it back down once and then it goes only halfway like yeah, so now it has gone only halfway and now you could need to push it back once again in order to close it again. So now if I just turn this off, you guys will see a really cool animation. Yeah, just like that, it does that. Now that's it for the interior. Now let's go back outside. All right here are the controls for the seat. These are, I think, 24 way adjustable seats. Like you can adjust them in many ways. And here are the controls for the memory seats. And right, we also have the speakers right here, the one here and one here. You can see it has the Harman Kardon sound system. Other thing, this car has soft closed doors. So if I just push them gently, like let me just do one, they will automatically close down so you don't have to slam the door. Like how luxurious is that? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this upload today. So if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I make a new upload. That's it for this time. And I'll see you guys for plenty more videos to come. Peace.